When do I feel the most beautiful? It doesn't start with that perfect shade of lipstick or that flawless palette of eyeshadow. It all starts from within. I feel most beautiful when I am embracing who I am. Embracing that inner dorky, slightly awkward at times self and not being afraid to let it out for the world to see. It's truly being happy with who I am. It's loving myself. It's that confidence of knowing who I am and staying true to myself no matter what. I want to inspire you to do the same. Fall in love with yourself. Once you do, that perfect shade of lipstick will accentuate that confidence and happiness of your smile. And that flawless palette of eyeshadow will spotlight your bright, bold eyes. So what's your most beautiful you? Just be true to you and the beauty will shine through. Hello everyone, this is my It Cosmetics It Girl contest entry and I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial that I will be doing for you in this video and you enjoy my message of when I feel the most beautiful. So remember to thumbs up this video and don't forget to share it. So let's go ahead and get into this makeup tutorial. All right, so for the first product that I'm using today, it is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And this is a product that is really raved about right now, and my shade is Neutral Medium. And the best way to describe this product is that it's basically eight hours of sleep in a tube. It really helps cover up those dark under eye circles that we all get if we don't have enough sleep. So this is what's great for that because another reason why this product is so amazing is that it doesn't crack, it doesn't crease, and it doesn't seep into those fine lines. And it has a lot of great anti-aging properties in it as well. So we're just gonna take this with a concealer brush and we're just gonna put this underneath the eyes to cover up those dark circles. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't been getting very much sleep lately. So this is a definite must in this routine. And you can just see how that really covered up these dark red circles that I have underneath my eyes from a lack of sleep. So definitely eight hours in a tube. Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get on our base. And instead of foundation, I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. And this is SPF 50 in it, which is amazing, especially if you're out here in Florida. You are dealing with a ton of UVA and UVB rays. So what is great about this product is that this product is really going to help improve your skin texture, the brightness of your skin, it's really going to help improve discoloration you may have, and it's going to keep your skin hydrated. So that is what's really great about this product. So the shade that I am using today is I'm using medium. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a flat top kabuki brush and I'm just going to be stippling and buffing that in to my skin. And what I really love about this foundation is that it's very lightweight on the skin, so you're still going to be able to see any freckles you may have, and it just really helps even out your skin tone and looks absolutely natural and gorgeous. And also the reason why I love this foundation is it doesn't seep into any fine lines or wrinkles and doesn't help accentuate them. It really helps tighten up your skin, and it makes your skin have more of a youthful look to it. Okay, so now that we have our base on, I'm going to be going in with the It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Blush, and I believe the name is Je ne sais quoi. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I will put the name up on the screen. So what is great about this product is that it really helps condition your lips. It can be used as a lipstick, a lip stain, a lip balm, a lip gloss. It can be used for so many things. But what we're going to use it for today is we're going to be using it for a lip balm. And I'm going to be using this because as you can see here, my lips are a little bit dry and this really helps condition your lips and it has a lot of anti-aging properties in it as well. So this is really going to help diffuse those fine lines and wrinkles that we have in our lips. What's great about this product as well is that it leaves a really pretty light pink stain on your lips so it gives them a little bit of color okay so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these brows because as you guys can tell my brows are very sparse and very light so I definitely need to fill them in and today I'm gonna be using the it cosmetics brow power universal eyebrow pencil so this is supposed to be a universal color so it should work for everyone's eyebrow color so what is great about this product is that you not only get the pencil, but you also get a spoolie on the end. And the shape of this pencil is very unique. It is an oval shape. So this oval shape of this pencil is really going to help you achieve that natural brow finish. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set these brows in place because I do not want my brows going anywhere and this really helps keep them on all day long. 
Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids with an eyeshadow base. And the reason why I'm using this is I just wanna even out my eyelids and to keep my eyeshadows on all day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a brush and I'm just gonna be putting this in there and I'm going to cover these eyelids. Okay, so now that I finished my eyeshadow base on my lids, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. And I'm gonna take the color Sheer Joy. And I'm just going to take this with the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe No Tuck Dual Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm going to use the side that is for the all over shadow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this brush and put it in Sheer Joy. And I'm going to set that eyeshadow base on my lids. Because you want to set a creamy eyeshadow base because it's going to keep your eyeshadow base from creasing. And it's going to allow your eyeshadows to become a lot more blendable. Okay, so now that we have Sheer Joy all over our lid, I'm going to go ahead and take a nice flat shader brush and I'm going to go into the color Transforming Pearl and I'm going to put this all over my lid because I want this look to be very naturally pretty, very fresh looking and this is the perfect shade to put on your lid to really open up those eyes. And and what is great about this eyeshadow palette is that it has a lot of great anti-aging properties in it. So what these eyeshadows are going to do is they're going to really diffuse those fine lines that you have on your lids. If you guys have that problem, I do. So that is another plus about this It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. All right, so now that we have Transforming Pearl all in our lid, we're going to go in with a really defined blending brush and we are going to go into Soulful and Soulful is a really pretty light mauve color and I'm just going to go ahead and take this only into my crease because it's going to be my transitioning shade. Alright so next what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use more of a tapered blending brush and I'm going to go into the color All Heart and this is a darker mauve color so I'm going to use this to really deepen up that crease that we have going on because I want to create like a gradient effect in my crease. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my blending brush and I'm going to blend those colors together using a windshield wiper motion. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with another flat shader brush and I'm gonna go back into Transforming Pearl. And this one is a little bit more dense, so it's gonna really help me pack on that shimmer shade onto this lid because I wanna fix some shadow that came down a little bit too low. All right, so now that we have our colors blended in our creases and we have our shimmer shade put back onto our lid, I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into the color Java. And Java is a little bit more of a deeper purpley brown and I want to really deepen up that crease, but I'm using a pencil brush because I want a lot more control with this color because when you're using darker colors like this, they're a little bit more tricky to work with. So when you use a smaller, denser brush, you have a lot more control of where that product is gonna go. All right, so next what I wanna do is I'm gonna take another flat shader brush and I'm gonna go back into Transforming Pearl and, and I'm gonna use this color to highlight underneath my brow bone just to really make this look pop and to make my brow bone to look a little bit more put together. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my liner and it is so hard to do liner on camera, you guys, so bear with me with this. But what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a gel eyeliner pen and this allows me to get a lot more control over this winged liner. Feel free to use a brown liner with this too if you want to or you don't even have to do a wing liner just to make it look a little bit more casual but I decided I wanted to go for a black wing today. Okay, so now that my wings are completed, I'm going to go ahead and go in with some false lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we're waiting for our eyelashes to dry, I'm gonna go in with some concealer and I'm just gonna conceal underneath my eyes, down my nose, the center of my forehead, my chin, and my cupid's bow because this is really gonna help highlight the face and bring some contrast into it. And blending this concealer out, I will be using my Beauty Blender because it really helps sheer out the concealer so it doesn't look too cakey and it's really easy to blend with it as well. A reason why I waited to do my concealer last is because I want to use the concealer to clean up these edges by my eyes where the eyeshadow is, which is why I said don't worry about making it too messy because we can always go in and clean it up with concealer. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a tapered highlighting brush and we are going to put this into a banana shade and this lighter peachy shade as well. And we're going to set that concealer with these shades because I really want to keep that highlighted look effect to it. 
Okay, next I'm going to be taking a loose setting powder with the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder Brush. And I'm going to be using this to set my entire face because, I don't know about you guys, but I have to set all my foundations, otherwise I will look like a greasy, oily mess by the end of the day, or actually by a few hours in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and lightly dust this all over my face so that way everything is set in place for the day. Okay, so now that we have our face set and everything, we're gonna go back to the eyes and we're gonna use this pencil brush and go into the color Soulful. And I'm gonna smudge this out on the bottom lash line because I really wanna create a smoky effect and to really balance out this eye look. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a flat definer brush and I'm gonna go into the color all heart and I'm gonna mix a little bit of Java into it and I'm just gonna keep this really close to my lash line and just kind of smudge it together but I'm also going to be keeping it in the outer corner I'm not gonna drag it all the way in because I really want to keep the inner corner of the eye very bright and awake okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with my pencil brush and I am going to blend and smudge that all out together Okay, so now to really keep these eyes still so bright and awake, I really want to highlight the inner corner of the eyes. So I'm going to go back in with Transforming Pearl and a flat shader brush, and I'm just going to pack this on in the inner corner of the eye to really open this eye look and make it very bright and fresh looking. Yes. Okay, so now that we have our eyeshadow on our bottom part of our eye, we're going to go in with the IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. And this is just a mechanical pencil that you just twist up. And what this is, is it glides on really easily so it doesn't tug that sensitive area by your eyes and it's very pigmented and it's not gonna go anywhere throughout the day. So what I like to do with this is I like to put it on my bottom waterline. And what this does is it really kind of closes my eyes and gives them more of an almond shape. The reason why I do this is because I have very round open eyes and I like them to be a little bit more smaller. So this is my little trick that I do with that. So again, I just put this on my bottom waterline and it really just changes my eye look. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use the IT Cosmetics Tightline Full Lash Link 3-in-1. And what this is, it's an eyeliner, a primer, and a mascara. And I know you guys are wondering, how is this little wand an eyeliner? And as you guys can see here, it is a very, it has very small, short bristles on it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna go really close to the root of those lashes because that's gonna hit your tight line. So that's really gonna be your eyeliner there for you. And then you'll go upwards, just like how you would a mascara, and that will either be your primer or your mascara for your eye look. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the IT Cosmetics Hello Lashes 5-in-1 Clinically Proven Mascara. And I know you guys are probably wondering why. Why didn't you put your mascara on before your lashes? And I know you should put them on before your lashes, but this is just works for me. The reason why I don't put my mascara on first is because it makes it really hard for me to put on my lashes and it just becomes impossible. So again, we're gonna be going in with this really unique IT Cosmetics Mascara. And what this mascara is, is formulated to really maximize the length and volume of your lashes. So as you guys see, it also has this little ball at the end of it too, which is gonna make it very easy for you to get the inner and the outer corner lashes and to help separate them as well. Okay, so next what I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using a large angled contour brush. And I'm gonna be taking this medium bronzer color and I'm gonna use this to really warm up my face and to bring some more dimension into it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small contour brush and I'm gonna go into this shade of bronzer right here and I'm going to be deepening up my contour. I don't like too strong of a contour, but I do like some dimension in there. So all I do is just lightly dab it in there brush off the excess, and then I just go in, do that little fishy face to find my angles, and then I just lightly bring it, and I just bring it into the outer corner of my eye. I don't wanna bring it in too much, otherwise it's gonna be way too harsh looking. So you just bring it in, and then you just slowly diffuse it out so that way it's not too harsh. Okay, so next what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going in with a small contour brush, and I'm using this for my blush. So I'm just gonna be taking a very light mauve pink blush today. I wanna keep it fairly neutral because I did a little bit more of a dramatic eye. So I'm just gonna be dipping that in here, tapping up the excess, and, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take my brush and I'm going to start from the outer corner and bring it in because I don't want most of that product right there on the apples of my cheeks. I want to slowly bring it in and really diffuse it out. And also a little tip is smile so you can find those apples of your cheeks as well. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a highlighter brush and I'm going to go and take it into the It Cosmetics Live Love Laugh Vitality Face Disc. And what this product has, it has a bronzer in it, it has a blush, and it has a highlighter. I'm going to go into that highlighter shade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush into it and I'm just going to put my highlighter on the outer corner of the top of my cheekbone. I don't want to bring it too far in, otherwise it's going to be way too much. So I want to stop it right here where the outer corner of my eye is because it just brings a really pretty highlight on the cheeks, but I don't like it too crazy. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like a light mauvish purple lip liner. I'm going to fill in my lips, and what this is gonna do, it's gonna help keep our lipstick on all day, and if our lipstick fades, we're gonna have that lip liner underneath. So that's a great tip to keeping your lipstick on all day. Put a lip liner down there, and it will also help keep your lipstick from feathering out. Okay, so next one I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with a pretty plum lipstick color because I think it really goes with this whole look. And I'm gonna put this on top of the lip liner. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this makeup tutorial using the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Eyeshadow Palette. And remember, in order for me to feel my most beautiful is I have to embrace who I am on the inside. And when I do that, that lipstick becomes the perfect shade and really accentuates my smile and my happiness. And that eyeshadow palette will really help accentuate my bright, bold eyes. So that's when I feel my most beautiful is when I embrace who I am, not only on the outside, but on the inside. So I encourage you guys to do the same. And remember to be true to you and your beauty will shine through. Bye!